What's going on guys? It's your boy Swills here. This is like my fourth time trying to record this because my storage is low at the time and uh, I can't make more than three minute videos, but I just deleted some stuff. Hopefully we can get to five or six minutes because I do got a lot of questions. This is a Q&A, an Instagram Q&A. That's where I did this. Follow me on Instagram at Swills23 uh, if you don't already. Uh, it was supposed to be a 50 subscriber Q&A, but we're never going to get there because you guys aren't spreading my name enough. So instead, we are just going to do a 44 subscriber Q&A. We have some questions here, and we're going to start with Nick Amorin. Uh, Nick Amorin. Uh, he said, what inspires me to make great content? Well, it's just boredom, Nick. Um, you know, for example, I see this orange cream flavored sparkling water. I say, hey, let's do a review on it. Because why not? You know, you can't care about what people will judge you based on your content. You know, I do it for two reasons. I do it because I enjoy it and I do and I do it because it, it will bring back memories in years to come when I say, hey, let's take a look back at what I was doing with my life during my high school years and and my college years now, too. And, you know, it'll bring back good nostalgia. So it's really just almost like a uh, like a memory book for me. Um, and his second content is second content. His second question, which I normally don't allow one question per person, please. Uh, but I'll just let it slide. He's asking what my favorite video is. My favorite video is my probably my water taste test. I had a bunch of different waters that I bought from Food Town. It was my junior year of high school, and I taste tested them all at like 11 o'clock at night. Uh, great video, fantastic. A little on the quiet side because it was late, but I definitely enjoyed making that video, and you would enjoy watching it. Definitely watch it if you haven't already. We have Not Yashi. He asks, what are my best and worst high school memories? Well, my best high school memory is... Uh, spending about five hours by myself in Boston on the Ro Kappa trip. Uh, I was in the polo store. My friends ditched me. I was by myself for a few hours. You know, it really got me thinking about people, about life. Uh, and it taught me to be, you know, not care about people, to be an individual. And that's the reason why I really just go solo now with things. I don't trust many people. Now, of course, that wasn't the only thing that triggered it, but, you know, you know what I'm saying. But it was definitely a, a moment of... Uh, realization what's that word there's a word for it and i don't know what it is like uh anyways he asked what my worst high school memory is probably just getting rejected by girls honestly that's just everyone's worst high school memory maybe not benching the bar freshman year of high school i couldn't bench 50 pounds uh but yeah that's it thanks for the question next up we have a rakish rakish how you doing my man long time no see i haven't seen you since middle school i hope you're doing well great to see that you're still a fan of mine he asks how much for an autograph Autographs are free, as always. Autographs are always free. I don't charge people for autographs. I'm not scum. <sighs> if you if you want an autograph, you know, hit me up with your address. I'll get you a nice little autograph sent in the mail. Maybe I'll do a meet and greet in coming times. Stay tuned. Uh, next up, we've got Isaac Balls. Isaac Balls. He said, "What got me into weightlifting? What got you into weightlifting?" Referring to me. Uh, just being really skinny and wanting some girls. You know, that's really it. Uh, I was like five feet tall, 100 pounds, junior year of high school. I said, you know what? We need to bulk up a little bit. Still not there yet, you know. I haven't been to the gym in a month. I've had bad luck with injuries for the past couple of years, back injuries, uh, arm injuries, leg injuries, whatever. But yeah, it's just a healthy body is a healthy mind. That's what I truly believe. If you start working out and you start to feel it, you'll, you'll have good mental health as well. And that's been a key part of me. Uh, otherwise, I'd probably be insane. Uh, next up, we have PB without the J. He says, how do you feel about Colonia heads? Um, uh, in terms of ones that I graduated with, uh, it's whatever. Some of them I'm friends with. A lot of them I'm not. Uh, but I don't hate anyone. No one hates me. At least I hope not. Um, I don't really care. Um, people still there? I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not really friends with many people. I kind of just keep, keep to myself a lot. Um, besides this YouTube thing, but you know, people do their own thing. I do my own thing. I don't really judge people based off of that. Um, next up we have Alex F 51. He said, where did it all go wrong? Uh, I mean, if you just watch the quality of my YouTube videos, just deteriorate over time, you know, starting with, you know, gaming with burnout paradise. Like that's the, that's the pinnacle. That was the pinnacle of gaming. And now I'm sitting here with a 44 subscriber Q and a years later where other people get hundreds of thousands of subs in seconds. Um, I don't know. I don't know where it all went wrong. You tell me. You tell me where it all went wrong. You've, you've been around me a lot, Alex. I think you can judge for yourself. Don't try to deprecate me. 
All right. Uh, next up, we have Isaiah Bartlett. Uh, he said, what is the best protein shake recipe? Well, I use my Optum Nutrition. I've done a video on it in the past. It's the purple label. Uh, I mix that with like a lot of milk, a lot of milk, like 30 fluid ounces of milk, you know, in a, in a big scoop, shake it all up and drink it. It's pretty simple. Tastes good. Tastes like a Kit Kat a little bit. I love it. And the final question we have here, hopefully the video doesn't get cut off. If it does, I'm sorry. To Geek, from Geek on Fleek. Geek on Fleek. Geek on Fleek asks, do you think acid diapers are a good idea? I think acid diapers are a great idea, and you know that. Everyone will now know it. Acid diapers were the idea that I created in science research. If, you, if a baby poops in the diaper, it disintegrates. The poop disintegrates. There's no need to change the diaper all the time. It's a waste. It's harmful for the environment to keep using diapers. But these acid diapers, you poop, you pee, and it's gone. Poof. You know, there's just some kind of material, some kind of like liquid, something like that in the diaper that burns the poop. It disintegrates the poop. So it's a, it's a recycled, it's basically a, a reusable diaper. You know, my teacher, Mr. Dance, didn't like it so much, but it appears it's now the talk of the town based on what Geek on Fleek is saying to me. Thank you for the question, Geek on Fleek. Uh, and that'll wrap up this Q&A session. Uh, if you have any more questions... Leave them in the comments. DM me on Instagram. Text me. Don't use Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat. Uh, you know, once I gather up another uh, another bu bundle of questions, group of questions, I'll do another Q and A. Could be a week. Could be a month. Could be years. <sighs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this Q and A. I'll see you next time. Peace out, everyone.